Hello students, let's do playing with numbers exercise 9D. So this is on page number 102, question 3, using the division method. So we've already done two methods. This is a third method, division method. Find the HCF of the following. So this is how we do. We start by dividing the greater number by the smaller number. So we take 24 and we divide it by 16. Now, there's a particular way of doing it. So we put it this way and we have 16 here. Then we do a normal division, but instead of putting the quotient on top, we're going to put it on the right hand side. So 16 ones are 16. So this is like normal division, the first step. Then we uh, do our subtraction. So this is 1 and 14. 14 minus 6 is 8 and here it is 0. Now we have a remainder 8. Now we're going to continue our division by using this remainder as our next divisor. So I'm going to continue this division like this. So 8 is our divisor this time and 16 which is here now becomes a dividend. So now I'm going to divide 16 by 8. 8 twos are 16 minus 0. So we keep on doing this division till we get the remainder 0. And the last divisor that we have used, which is going to give us the remainder 0, is our HCF. Okay, so the HCF of 16 and 24 is 8. So we have found the HCF of 16 and 24 to be 8. And this is how we do the division method. Question 2. So here we have 18 and 30. Let's divide the greater number by the smaller number. So the greater number is 30. We are going to divide it by 18. So 18 ones are 18 minus. Now let's subtract. So here it is 0 minus 8. We can't do. So we're going to write. We're going to borrow. So it becomes 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So my remainder is 12. I'm going to continue my division with the remainder 12. And I'll put 18 inside. So 18 is my dividend. So 12 ones are 12. So I continue my division like normal. 8 minus 2 is 6 and I have 0. Now again I'm going to continue my division. 6 will be my uh, divisor this time. Now I'm going to use 12 and I'll put it in. 6 twos are 12. Now my remainder is 0. So I'll keep on doing this till I get a remainder 0 and my last divisor which I have used will be my HCF. So here the HCF of, so let's write that HCF of 18 and 30 is 6. So we've got our answer HCF of 18 and 30 is 6. Let's go on to the next one. Now here we have three numbers. So what we can do is take the first two numbers first. So here we're going to take the bigger number, put it in and divide it by the smaller number. 7 twos are 14. So minus 0. So here we've got 7 as our HCF. HCF of 7 and 14 only. Okay, now we have a third number 24. So we're going to take this 7 and divide it by, we're going to use it to divide 24. So 24 will be inside and 7 will be out now. Okay, so now let's divide 7 1s are 7, 7 2s are 14. We can use 7 3s are 21. Minus 4 minus 1 is 3, 0. I continue my division. I put 7 inside. I have to put 7 inside and I continue. 3 2s are 6 minus. I have 1. I, again, I continue my division. I put the 3 inside, this 3 inside, and I, my divisor is 1. 1, 3s are 3 minus, I've got 0. So the last divisor, which gave me the remainder 0, is my HCF. So here, the HCF of 3 numbers, what are they? 7, 14, and 24 is 1. So the answer is 1. Moving on to question 4. Here we have 4 numbers. 
So first, let's take the first two numbers, 70 and 80. Divide 80 by 70. Okay, so 70 ones are 70 minus, I have 10 now, I'm going to continue my division and I'm going to put 70 inside. So 10 sevens are 70 minus 0. So here, the HCF of 70 and 80 is 10. Now I'm going to use this 10. I'm going to use 10 and 120. So I've finished with the first two numbers. Now I'm going to take 10 and the next number that is 120. So the bigger number, we'll put it inside, which is 120 and we'll have 10 outside. Now 10 into what will give us 120? 10 into 12. 10 12 is 120. So we've got this here itself. So again, I've got 10, which has given me the remainder 0. So I'm going to use 10 with 150 now. 10 and 150. So let's do that. We have 150 and I'm going to take 10. 10 into what is 150? 10 into 15 is 150 minus, I've got 0. So now 10 is my HCF. So the last number that you get as your HCF is the HCF of all the numbers. So the HCF of, what are all the numbers here? 7, 80, 120 and 150 is 10. Question 5. We have three numbers here. So let's take the first two numbers. We'll put 56 inside. And we'll take 32 out and let's divide. 32 ones are 32 minus, let's subtract, 6 minus 2 is 4, 5 minus 3 is 2. So I have 24. Now I'm going to continue my division. Let me put 32 inside. 24 ones are 24 minus, now here we need to borrow, so this becomes 2 and this is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. So I'm going to continue my division. So here I'm going to put 24 inside. So each divisor comes in. So first we put 32. Now I'm going to put 24. So we've put 24 and let's get a number close to that 8. Threes are 24 itself. So now when we subtract, we get 0. And here the final divisor which gave us 0 is 8. So that is the HCF of these two numbers, 32 and 56. Now I'm going to use 8 and 46. So let's do that. Let's put 46 inside and 8 outside. 8 fives are 40. So let's do that. 8 fives are 40 minus. So I bring, uh, when I subtract, I get 6. This is 0. Now I'm going to keep 6 outside as my next divisor and bring 8 inside. So 6 ones are 6 minus. I've got 2. I'm going to continue my division. 2 is my divisor. This time I take 6 and put it in. 2 threes are 6 minus. Now I've got the remainder 0. So the last divisor that gave me 0 as the remainder is the HCF. So the HCF of these three numbers, HCF of 32, 56 and 46 is 2. So that is our answer. Question 4. Use a method of your choice to find the HCF of the following. So we have learned three methods. The first one is the common factor method where you find all the factors. Second is the prime factor method. And the third one is the long division method. You can use any one method to find your answer. Now generally, when you have a bigger number, especially here you have 135, it's always easier to use the long division method. So let's do, use the division method that we just learned. So we'll divide the first two numbers. So 45 is outside the divisor and inside we have 75. So let's do 45 ones are 45 minus 0. 7 minus 4 is 3. I'm going to continue the division. This time I'm going to put 45 inside and I'll continue. 31's are 
30 minus 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. So let's continue the division. We need to continue till we get the remainder 0. This time I'm going to put 30 inside. So 15 twos are 30 minus 0. So I've got the remainder 0. So the HCF of these two numbers is 15. Now I'm going to use 15 and 135. So let's do that. So put the bigger number inside 135 and divide it by 15. So we're dividing 135 by 15. Now 15 into 9. Let's see what it is. 9 fives are 45, carry 4. 9 ones are 9 plus 4 is 13. So that's 135. So 15 into 9 is 135 itself. So the remainder is 0. So which is the divisor that gave us the remainder 0? 15. So 15 is the HCF. So the HCF of these three numbers. What are the three numbers? 45, 75 and 135 is 15. Question 2, we have to find the HCF of 48, 36 and 96. So first we start by finding the prime factors. Prime factors of 48. So let's start that. 48 will divide by 2. 2 is a prime number. 2 twos are 4. 2 fours are 8. That means 2 into 24. So 2 twelves are 24. 2 sixes are 12. 2 threes are 6. And 3 ones are 3. So let's write down the prime factors of 48. We have 4 twos. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and we have 1, 3. Now let's write the prime factors of 36. So in the same way, let's find out 3, 36 starting with 3. 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6. That means 3 into 12 is 36. So let's continue. 3 fours are 12. Now I can't multiply or divide with 4 here because 4 is not a prime number. So I go to 2. 2 2's are 4, 2 1's are 2. So let's write down the prime factors of 36 starting with 2. 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Now let's write the prime factors of 96. So write, let's write down 96. Let's find out all the prime numbers starting with 3. 3 3's are 9, 3 2's are 6. Now we can't uh, divide by 3 so we'll divide 2. 2 ones are 2, then I carry 1, that's 12. 2 sixes are 12. 2 eights are 16. 2 fours are 8. 2 twos are 4. And 2 ones are 2. So, what are the prime factors of 96? 3 and all the twos. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. Let's write it down. 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we have a 3. Now we have to pick out the common prime factors. Okay, from here. So let's see what is common. We have 2 that is common here. So let's write down 2 first. Then we have another 2. So we can write down that 2 also. Then let's see what we have. We don't have another 2 in the second row. We have a 3. So let's take this 3. 3 is common to all 3 numbers. So we write down 3. So common prime factors we have written. Now from this we are going to multiply and get the highest common factor. 2 twos are 4, 4 threes are 12. So our highest common factor is 12. So the highest common factor of 48, 36 and 96 is 12. Now Next one, we have 66, 36 and 132. Let's use the division method. So let's take 66 and 36, put the bigger number inside and do the division. So there are, there are smaller numbers, 33. 33 into 2 is 66. So minus, we get 0. So here, 33 is the HCF of these two numbers, 66 and 33. Now, I'm going to use 33 and 132 to find the HCF. So, here we put 132 inside and we put 33 out and we divide. 
Now, 33 into 4, let's see what it gives us. 33 into 4. 4 threes are 12, carry 1. 4 threes are 12 plus 1, 13. So, 32, 33 into 4 will give us 132 itself. So, we've got the remainder 0. So, the last divisor that gave us the remainder 0 is the HCF. So, this was easy, isn't it? So, the HCF of... 66, 33, and 132 is 33. Let's go on to the next one. Here also we have four numbers now and we can use any method. Shall we use the division method itself? So let's divide 36 by 24. 24 ones are 24 minus 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. I continue my division. This time I put 24 inside and 12 twos are 24 minus 0. So the last divisor that gave me the remainder 0 is the HCF. So 12 is the HCF of 24 and 36. Now I'm going to use 12 and 60. So let's try that. 12 is outside. And 60 is the dividend that's inside. Now 12, 5 are 60. So we've got our answer here itself. So here 12 is the HCF of 12 and 60. So I'm going to use 12 and 132. So 12 is outside and we have 132 inside. Now 12 ones are 12 minus Again, I have 12, 12, ones are 12. So that is 12, ones are 12. So minus, we get zero. That means 12 into 11 gave us the remainder zero. So 12 is the last divisor that gave us the remainder zero. So that is the HCF. So the HCF of 24, 36, 60, and 132 is 12. Question 5. Now let's use the prime factor method here. So prime factor of 32. Let's get all the prime factors of 30. Prime factors of 30. So let's start with 3. 3 tens are 30. Now I can't divide this with 3 anymore. So I'm going to use 5. 5 twos are 10. Then I use 2. 2, 1s are 2. So the prime factors of 30 are starting with 2, 2 into 3 into 5. Now let's find the prime factors of 60. Again, I can start with 3. 3, 2s are 6, 0, 3 into 20. Now I can go to 2. 2, 10s are 20. I can continue with 2. 2, 5s are 10. Now I go to 5. 5, 1s are 5. So what are the prime factors of 60? We have 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Now let's go on to find the prime factors of 90. Starting with 3. 3 threes are 9. 30. 3 into 30. Then we continue with 3. 3 tens are 30. Then we'll go to 2. 2 fives are 10. And then with 5, 5 ones are 5. So what are the prime factors of 90? Starting with 2, we have 2, then we have 2 3s, 3 into 3, and then we have a 5. Now we have to find the prime factors of 105. So let's find the prime factors of 105. I can start with 5. 5 2s are 10 and 5 1s are 5. That means 5 into 21 is 105. Now I can go to 3. 3 7s are 21. Now I can use 7. 7 1s are 7. So what are the prime factors of 105? 3 into 5 into 7. Now let's find the common factors. Pick out the common factors here. So 2 is not common because it's there here for 3 numbers but it's not there for the fourth one. Now let's see 3. 3 is common. So we have 1 3 there. One. 1 and 1. So 3 is common to all. So let me take 3. Is there anything else? What about 5? 
5 is also common. There's a 5 in every number. 5 is a factor of every number there. So now we've got 3 into 5 and our HCF will be 3 fives are 15. So the HCF of 30, 60, 90 and 105 is 15. Now question 5. Find the greatest number that divides each of these completely. So the greatest number that divides these numbers completely is the HCF. So we must find the HCF of 180, 225 and 315. So whenever you have big numbers, it's always better to use the division method. So let's divide 225 by 180. So 180 into 1 will give us 180. Let's minus and see what we get 5. Now here we need to borrow. So this is 1 and this is 12. 12 minus 8 is 4 and this is 0. So remainder is 45. Let's continue our division. This time we put 180 inside. Now 45 into what will give us 180. Let's multiply 45 into 4 and C. 4 fives are 20, carry 2. 4 fours are 16 plus 2 is 18. 180. So we've got it there. So 45 fours are 180 minus 0. So here we've got 45 as the first HCF of 180 and 225. Now let's use that and 315. So I'm going to use these two numbers. So 315, we'll put it inside and we'll have 45 outside. So let's multiply 45 into 7. 7 fives are 35, carry 3. 7 fours are 28, 29, 30, 31. So we've got 315. So 45 into 7 is 315. So the last divisor that gave us the remainder 0 is our HCF. So the HCF of these three numbers or the greatest number, the question is not to find the HCF, the question is find the greatest number that divides each of these completely. So our answer should say the greatest number. So we need to write our answer according to the question. So the greatest number that divides These three numbers, 180, 225 and 315 completely is 45. So that is our answer. Next question, we need to show that 45 and 56 are co-prime numbers. Now what are co-prime numbers? Co-prime numbers are two numbers that don't have a common prime factor. Okay, and the HCF of two co-prime numbers is always 1. So what we have to do is we have to find the prime factors of each of these, of 45 and the prime factors of 56. And then we have to prove that they don't have any common prime factor. So let's find out the prime factors of 45 by using the prime factor method. So here we'll use 5. 5 9s are 45. Now we'll use 3. 3 3s are 9. 3 1s are 3. So here, what are the prime factors of 45? 3 into 3 into 5. Let's find the prime factors of 56. We can start with 2. 2 2s are 4, but this is 5, so there's 1 remaining. So it's 16. 2 8s are 16. Now 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8, that means 2 into 14 is 28. 2 7s are 14, now I use 7, 7 1s are 7. So let's write all the prime factors of 56. 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. Now what are the common prime factors here? Common prime factors here, if you look and see, there is nothing that is common. There is no common prime factor, so no common prime factor. So in such a case, like the sentence, 
HCF of two core prime numbers is always one. So when there is no common prime factor, the HCF will always be one. So we have proved here that 45 and 56 are co-prime numbers. Question 7. Out of 15, 16, 21 and 28, find out all the pairs of co-prime numbers. Now co-prime numbers are numbers which have no common factor and their HCF is 1. So HCF of two co-prime numbers is always 1. Remember this. Now let's make pairs out of all these numbers. So the first pair will be 15 and 16. Then we have 15 and 21. Then we can take 15 and 28. Now let's take 16. 16 and 21. 16 and 28. And then we have 21 and 28. Now we're going to check to see whether these pairs are co-prime numbers. Okay, that means the HCF should be 1. So let's take the first one. 15 and 16 and let's see if they have an HCF which is 1. If your HCF is 1, they are co-prime numbers. So let's do the division method to find out. So we're going to divide 16 by 15. 15 ones are 15 minus 1, 0. We continue the division. So we put 15 inside. We put 15 inside. So 1 into 15 is 15 minus, now we've got a remainder 0. And 1 has given us the remainder 0, so 1 is the HCF. That means 15 and 16 are co-prime numbers. Now let's take the second pair. The second pair is 15 and 21. So let's put 21 inside and divide it by 15. 15 ones are 15. Now what is remaining? Now, we have to borrow 11 minus 5 is 6. So, I'm going to continue my division. I'm going to put 15 inside. 6 twos are 12. Now, minus again. 5 minus 2 is 3. 0. I'll continue my division. This time, I'm putting 6 inside. 3 twos are 6. Now, my remainder is 0. So, what is my HCF here? 3. My HCF is 3. That means... 15 and 21 are not co-prime numbers, are not co-prime numbers. Now let's take 15 and 28. So 15 and 28 are the next two numbers that we are going to take. Let's do the division and find out. So 28 and then I have 15. 15 ones are 15 minus, now 8 minus 5 is 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. I have 13. So I'm going to continue. Put 15 inside. 13 ones are 13 minus 2. Again, I'm going to continue. This time I'm going to put 13 inside. 2 sixes are 12 minus 1. I still have to continue till my remainder is 0. This time I'm going to put 2 inside. 1 twos are 2. Now my remainder is 0. So, 1 is the HCF that gave me the remainder 0, the divisor. So, here, since 1 is the HCF, 15 and 28 are co-prime numbers. Now, let's take the next pair, 16 and 21. So, let's divide 21 by 16. So, 16 ones are 16 minus, now I borrow, 11 minus 6 is 5. 0. I continue my division. I put 16 inside now. 5 threes are 15 minus 1. I continue my division. I put 5 inside now. 1 fives are 5. So my remainder now is 0. So 1 is the divisor that gave me the remainder 0. So 1 is the HCF. That means 16 and 21 are also co-prime numbers because their HCF is 1. Now let's take the next pair. The next pair is 16 and 28. So let's divide 28 by 16. 16 ones are 16 minus 8 minus 6 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 12 is my remainder. I continue my division. I put 16 inside now. 12 ones are 12 
minus 4. Now I continue my division. This time I put 12 inside. 4 threes are 12 and my remainder is 0. So the HCF of 16 and 28 is 4. That means HCF 16 and 28 are not co-prime numbers. The next pair is 21 and 28. So let's divide 28 by 21. 28 divided by 21. 21 ones are 21 minus. Then I have 7. I carry my uh, division. I continue. Now I'm going to put 21 here. 7 threes are 21. Now my remainder is 0. That means 7 is the HCF of 21 and 28. So what does that mean? 21 and 28 are not co-prime numbers. So what is the answer? What are the co-prime numbers that we have found? So what are the pairs that are co-prime? The pairs that are co-prime are 15 and 16. This is the first pair. Then we have 15 and 28. That is the second pair. And then we have 16 and 21. These are the three pairs that are co-prime numbers. Because for these numbers, these pairs of numbers, their HCF was 1. Question 8. Find the greatest number that will divide 93, 111 and 129, leaving a remainder 3 in each case. So whenever you're asked to find the greatest number, remember it is HCF. Now here this clue has been given to us in the question itself. It says since 93, that's the first number, 93 minus 3 is 90, 111 minus 3 is 108 and 129 minus 3 is 126. We have to find the HCF of 90, 108 and 126. Okay. So find the HCF of 90, 108, 108 and 126. Now how do the numbers change from 93 to 90? Because it says remainder 3, that means you minus 3. 93 minus 3 gave us 90 similarly for the other two numbers. Now let's find the HCF by the division method. We'll take the first two numbers. So 108 divided by 90. So 90 ones are 90 minus now 8. Then we borrow 10 minus 9 is 1. We have 18 and then we have 90 inside. 18 fives are 90. So here the HCF of 90 and 108 is 18. Now I'm going to use 18 along with 126. So let's divide 126 by 18. 18 into 7. Let's multiply and see. 18 into 7. 7 eighths are 56. Carry 5. 7 ones are 7 plus 5. 12. So we have got 126. So 18 into 7 is 126. So which is the divisor that gave us this? 18. So that is the HCF. So what is your answer? The question is find the greatest number. So our answer is 18 is the greatest number that can divide. Greatest number that can divide 93, 111 and 129 leaving remainder 3 in each case. So we have found the greatest number. So children we have come to the end of this exercise. I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you children.